Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Novation. I am Shantanu and I welcome you all to the 8th episode of our 2021 business awareness series which we will discuss some important business awareness MCQs. So we will be discussing not just the business, awareness, business affairs of India but also we will be talking about the international affairs. All right? So I will request you that you go through all the MCQs and also attempt the assignment once which will be at the end of this video and I am pretty sure that this is going to be very helpful for you. Okay? And as always please do contact me on any of these social media platform if you need any help and also visit novation.in here you can find the free pdfs of the lectures which i'm posting here and also uh, if you like the content you can go ahead and support novation by going to the donate button all right so with that i'll start today's session first is which among the following top the 2021 fortune global 500 list friends here is list banti hai it is made on the basis of the uh, revenue of these companies in a financial year okay so here uh, the uh, correct answer is d walmart walmart has topped this fortune global 500 list or kuch aur important cheeze dekhte hain dosto so reliance industries uh, is on the 155th position and it is um, like uh, the top most uh, revenue generating company from india and uh, we have seven uh, companies who made it to this 500 list uh, from india and Walmart has topped this list in terms of revenue for the 8th consecutive year. So, you can think that for the 8th year, Walmart has topped this list. Top kiya hai. And uh, it is the 16th time which it, uh, uh, since 1995 which Walmart has topped this list. Alright, so I hope this is clear. We'll move forward. UNICEF India has joined hands with which of these companies for a one-year joint initiative on ending violence against children with a spe uh, special focus on online safety so uh, another important question guys here unicef india has joined hands with facebook and it will be launching various nationwide uh, social media campaign and capacity building for around 1 lakh school uh, going children on online safety their digital literacy and psychological support a core important cheese dosto aishman khurana is the brand ambassador for unicef india and this program i hope aapko yaad rahega Okay, so now we have a match the following type of question in which we are asked to join the name of Indian origin women in 2021 Forbes list of America's richest self-made women. So these are uh, in the list of America's self uh, richest self-made women, but they are Indian origin. Okay, and we, we have to match these names with the companies they are associated with. Okay, so not exactly a MCQ question here, but uh, the examiner like IFT or CMAT can give you options also. Okay, so that is helpful. So first, Indra Nui. Uh, this is an easy one. Indra Nui is associated with PepsiCo. She was the uh, CEO of PepsiCo. Uh, coming to Nirja Sethi. So she is associ associated or she is the head of Centel. So B will be mapped with 5. Neha uh, Narkhede. And she is uh, associated with Confluent. So C goes with 2. Jayashri Ullal. She is uh, associated with Arista Networks. Uh, she is the uh, head of the company. And Reshma Seti is the uh, head of Jinko. So, E goes with 4. So, I hope you will remember these 5 names. Because you can ask individually that in these 5 names, who is the one? Or you can ask that you will give an option to give 4 names. Who was not in this list? Okay, so you need to be well aware. You should be remembering these 5 names. Okay, next. Next is, as per mobile intelligence firm Apptopia, which of these was the most downloaded app of 2020? So friends, here the correct answer is C, TikTok. Okay, and TikTok even left behind WhatsApp. So this is the top 10 list. WhatsApp is on the second number. Facebook is on the third number. And uh, in ranking, you are not only Android, you are considering the App Store, yani ke jo, uh, I iOS, hai, uske apps bhi count on iOS. Uh, Android ke bhi apps uh, app download counts ho hain. Okay, I hope this is clear. We'll move forward. The CSR arm of which of the tech firm launched an online portal, My eHeart, to empower artisans and strengthen the value chain of the handicraft sector. So friends, CSR kya hota hai? So CSR means Corporate Social Responsibility. Hum aage dekhenge isme, iske baare mein. So here the correct answer is B, HCL. And the name of the CSR arm of HCL is HCL Foundation. Okay, so ye naam aap yaad rakhiega. 
So friends, currently uh, there are more than 30 partners from eight different states on this platform and around 600 products from these local artisans has been registered on this website, My eHeart, uh, so that they can be supported through online selling. Now friends, CSR, every company which is uh, like big companies mostly, uh, they have a CSR arm, corporate social responsibility arm, whose aim is to give back, give back to the community. They do man many kind of works like uh, social uh, work and environmental work and you know such kind of work so that they can give back to the society aap agar mba join karne wale hain so i'm pretty sure that aap koi na koi aisa csr activity ke bare mein case study zarur padhenge i hope this is clear we'll move forward which of these companies topped the Hurun Global 500 Most Valuable Companies list in 2021? So this is a similar list to Forbes and uh, here the correct answer is C, Apple. Apple topped this list. So uh, top six companies are Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, Facebook and Tencent. And uh, from India, uh, Reliance Industries again ranked 57th uh, in this list. And from India, around 12 different firms made it to this 500 most valuable companies list i hope this is clear we'll move forward next is sgfc bank has joined hands with which of the following digital payment apps for delivering financial solutions across india so friends here the correct answer is b paytm let's see the ptn so this partnership will be having two institutions launch innovative products across digital payments lending and point of sale solution so friends, there is a very important uh, thing or very important story related to Paytm and HDFC Bank. So in 2017, the MD of uh, HDFC Bank was Mr. Aditya Puri. And Mr. Aditya Puri uh, uh, was rep representing HDFC Bank and he uh, said that Paytm has no future. Okay, And now see how the tables have turned. In 2021, HDFC Bank has joined hands with Paytm in order to provide digital solutions. So see how tables turn uh, in a span of very few years. Okay, so never lose hope if anyone thinks something like that about you. Okay, next, which of the following companies became the fourth ever to touch a market valuation of hundred billion dollars in India? Friends, another important question. Pucha ja sakta hai. Here, the correct answer is D. Infosys. So after uh, TCS, Reliance Industries, and HDFC Bank, Infosys has become the fourth company and the second tech company i would say uh, for uh, to have crossed this 100 billion mark in market capitalization ab market capitalization kai baar maine aapko bataya ek baar fir se revise kar lete hain maan lijiye ek company hai usne apne 100 shares launch kare in the in the share market and now the value of each share is let's say 10 rupees so 100 into 10 will be the market capitalization m cap okay so Infosys ka market, cap, market cap, capitalization hua hai 100 billion after these three companies. So I hope this is clear. We'll move forward. Next is which of the following PSU companies has become the first public sector unit in the country to have all its employees and their family members vaccinated against COVID-19. So another good achievement by a PSU company. Here the correct answer is NCL. So NCL stands for Northern Coal Fields Limited and it is a subsidiary of coal india now there are around 50000 people uh, in this company all around india and uh, uh, around 13000 full time employees 16000 contract workers and 20000 family members and all of them have been uh, vaccinated against covid 19 uh, i hope this is clear moving forward which of the following fast moving consumer goods company has launched the first ever recyclable toothpaste tubes in india Friends here, the correct answer is C, Colgate Palmolive. So they have launched uh, this recyclable tube for their brand, uh, Active Salt and Ved Shakti toothpaste portfolio. And uh, Colgate also aims to provide 100% recyclable oral care portfolio in India in the coming years. So this is a very important development, I would say, very helpful to the environment and sustainable growth. Next is, which of the following became the first Indian company to list on NASDAQ? an American stock exchange based in New York City. Important question guys. Here the correct answer is D. Renew Power. So this is one of the biggest uh, firms in India in the generation of non-conventional energy sources through uh, solar and wind power. So I hope this is clear. We'll move forward. Which of the following insurance firm partnered with Pildesk 
to enable safe and secure e-mandate for premium payment. Now friends, Buildesk is a payment gateway company just like Razorpay. And here the correct answer is A. Max Life Insurance has partnered with Buildesk. Friends, you will be thinking what is this e-mandate? So if you pay any premium or you have any education loan or something like that, uh, then you would be aware of it. But if you don't know, I'll tell you. Now, e-mandate is a pay, uh, payment service initiated by RBI and executed by National Payment Corporation of India. And it provides an infrastructure for businesses to collect recurring payments in India. If you have payment every month, हर मंथ आप दे रहे हैं हर ईयर ऑटोमेटिकली आपके अकाउंट से कट कट रहा है देन इट इज अ ई मैंडेट अगर आप आईपीओस फाइल करते हैं तब भी ई मैंडेट ही काम आता है आपके अकाउंट से ऑटोमेटिकली पेमेंट डिडक्ट हो जाता है उसमें भी या फिर होल्ड पे चला जाता है सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर विल मूव फॉरवर्ड नेक्स्ट इज द गवर्नमेंट्स पॉलिसी थिंक टैंक नीति आयोग हैज पार्टनर्ड विद व्हिच ऑफ दीस टेक जायंट्स टू लॉन्च अ न्यू फेज ऑफ वुमेन एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप प्लेटफार्म डब्ल्यूईपी कॉल्ड डब्ल्यूईपी नेक्स्ट so women related entrepreneurship platform hai ye wep next and cisco is the tech company which has joined hands with niti aayog so it is aimed at enabling and utilizing cisco's technologies uh, with india's ecosystem uh, startup ecosystem in order to enable more businesses uh, to be uh, owned by women and helping them grow their startups next which indian company signed an agreement for construction of the 530 million dollars greater male connectivity project with the government of maldives friends here the correct answer is d afcons infrastructure it has won this uh, contract for greater male connectivity project and this will be the largest ever infrastructure project in republic of maldives and would be funded by the exim bank of india under indian grant and line of credit scheme next is which is the first indian cryptocurrency exchange to become a unicorn company now unicorn company means those which have a valuation of more than 1 billion dollars so here the correct answer is c coin dcx so it raised another round of funding series c round of funding and got around dollar 90 million from investors led by facebook's co-founder eduardo severin and it raised uh, its valuation to around 1.1 billion dollars and it became a unicorn next which is the first bank in india to register 1 crore fast tag user now fast tag as you all know you need to put this card uh, on the front of your cars uh, in order to pass through the uh, toll nakas and the money automatically gets deducted from your wallet so here the correct answer is b paytm payments bank now paytm payments bank now holds 30% market share of fast tags which is a huge amount because around 32 banks in the countries are issuing fast tag so usme se agar dekha jaye so 30% market share is with paytm payments bank which is a huge chunk so guys now we are on the assignment part of this video please tell me the answers for these following questions in your comments so here india has come up with its own version of caller id and blocking application called tell me the name of this app please which bollywood actress was appointed as the brand ambassador of galaxy z foldable smartphone series by samsung india very easy one you must have seen the advertisement next which company launched india's largest floating solar photovoltaic project on the reservoir of simadri thermal power station in andhra pradesh another important one so i hope this is clear you will tell me the answers in the comments थैंक्स अ लॉट गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो आई होप द वीडियो वॉज हेल्पफुल और अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगा है सो प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक इट शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू नोवेशन फॉर मोर सच इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज ऑन करंट अफेयर्स बिजनेस अवेयरनेस स्ट्रैटिक जी के एट्सेट्रा एंड आई विल अगेन रिक्वेस्ट यू दैट प्लीज विजिट नोवेशन डॉट इन एंड इफ यू लाइक आर कंटेंट प्लीज गो हैड एंड सपोर्ट अस बाई गोइंग टू द डोनेट बटन ऑल राइट फ्रेंड्स सो विद दैट आई क्लोज दिस सेशन आई मीट यू अगेन नेक्स्ट टाइम अंटिल देन बाय बाय एंड प्लीज टेक केयर